guys, so uh, you're probably wondering why this is happening again. And I decided to redo my scrubbing store on a more serious note, uh, mainly because the you know the game's become so popular now, and I figure a lot of people are trying to learn it, especially with outdoors coming, the national series. Uh, you know, a lot of people are going to be trying to learn how to scrub. So I figure, why not try and explain it? Um, so we're out here at Race Factory Compound, because pretty much every jump here you can scrub perfectly. On a good lap at least, you know, you can scrub every jump. And I mean scrub, not whip. There's a difference, people. Um, anyway, I'm going to jump straight into it, really. So, as you can see, I've approached this tabletop right now. And if you haven't watched my last video, I'll just start from the basics. The easiest way, or the only way I know of to scrub, is as you can see, as I'm going up this face right now, I started to lean over to one side. I chose my right side, so that means I pushed my analog stick right. And then, literally, as I got to the face, like exactly where I'm about to take off, I started to turn my um, analog stick the opposite direction, which allowed me to turn my bars into the face and pull a nice little scrub off. Um, that was a natural looking scrub. I can, there's, you know, there's different styles and different jumps so you can do different things, but something along that and uh, I'll show some more here in a little bit. Now, if you get really confident and really want to just show off to your friends, uh, you can start scrubbing little jumps like these. I can do it occasionally, not really consistently though, so I wouldn't do it in a race. But it looks pretty cool if you nail it right. Uh, obviously, yeah, like that, I didn't. Um, you know what I'm saying? It can, it can look cool if you land it right. You just use the same technique. Oh, also a reminder: you need to sit down when you scrub because that allows your movements to be faster. So whatever you use to sit down, make sure you push that as you scrub. Now this right here is one of the reasons that I enjoy the Race Factory compound. It's got two drop-offs, and they're pretty gnarly. Uh, granted, this probably wasn't the best scrub over it. But, it's a good time none, nonetheless, you know, uh, you can lay this lay this bike over and just fucking go for it, it looks gnarly. So, a uh, bit of a sketchy landing on this one too, however, I looked cool, so it doesn't matter. Alright, this is the last shelf I'm going to show you guys uh, how to scrub on. This is sort of like the Bud's Creek one that I first started on. It's very easy to scrub, it's probably the one you want to start on, either that or some very small forgiving jump. Not too small, I always remember to scrub it, but you, you get the idea of what I'm saying, you know. You can put up a lot of speed for this one, which means you can scrub it pretty well. Same technique, um, I'm sitting down, you see that I sit. I started sitting down right as I came up to the face. And then, uh, you don't even have to lean your bike over too much on this one, just do it a little bit, and you see I got my bars turned in right on the, right on the top there. And uh, you don't want to do it too much too early, because you'll screw it up. But uh, if you do it just right, it comes out perfectly. So, practice, and uh, obviously the landing was a little bit sketchy there. But if you just keep practicing, uh, you get the hang of it real quick. Uh, I wouldn't suggest that you uh, do it in races, because I don't think even I've got the confidence to do that yet. It's very inconsistent, <laughs> unless you can somehow get it dialed, which I haven't done yet. But uh, if you can go ahead and do that, then be my guest. I uh, hope you enjoyed this tip of the week. It was just a redone version. Uh, more more than I guess you could say for the new, the newcomers that want to learn how to do it. Um, if you would like to learn anything else, just uh, leave a comment or do whatever you have to do to let me know. Uh, for the rest of the video, I'll just show some examples of what you've got to do in time with uh, this this scrubbing techniques. Yeah, everyone have a great day. Mm -hmm.